There's a very weird link with this. <laughs> On the scale of one ton of weirdness, this comes about 433. <laughs> Is it the blood of some strange machine, you ask? Do you, do you ask that? <laughs> I ask that. No, it's not. <laughs> so this stuff is very odd. It's called a ferrofluid or a magnetic liquid. And what's happening here is there's a magnet down there and a, and a bolt which the magnetic field has been traveled, channeled through. And the liquid is, is reacting to the magnetic field. That's really odd. Not many liquids do that. That's because this liquid's got tiny nanoparticles, magnetite, in it. Now normally if you put that kind of particle in a, in a water solution, it'll just get ripped out by the magnetic field. But in this case, it's been coated with a surfactant, and that surfactant is an interface with the water which loves the water. So they're held into the water, and that makes the liquid behave as if it's magnetic. It's pulled along with the particles, and so it's kind of channeled into these different shapes which are all defined by the magnetic field. So you can, you can confine a liquid with a magnetic field just by putting these tiny little magnetic particles in there. So sort of nanotechnology at its kind of most beautiful. Car manufacturers have used it because you, in a way what you can do is you can kind of confine a liquid and make it either viscous or quite runny with just controlling an electromagnet. And that means that you can make a car suspension that's either very hard or very soft at the touch of a button. Now that sounds like quite a cool application, I agree, but I think we can come up with something better. Although personally I haven't yet, except for the bolt. It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs>